the defensive line, obviously they have Kenny Clark, Mike Daniels, some of those guys. But it's not a problem until it's a problem, exactly. right? So this year they've got Ed Oliver and Christian Wilkins in the first round, kind of those first round guys. Do you see them maybe picking someone up like that? Would it be worth it? Yeah, I mean, Ed Oliver, if he's there at 12, it's because the league overthought it. You know, uh, a lot of interesting question marks about how he played last year. Well, he is a 270, 280 pound defensive lineman who is basically tasked with playing nose tackle. And when you kind of look at that, he's not built for that. He was getting double team, triple team, and he was still making an impact. When you look at all of his elite athleticism and how that pops, not only at the combine, but on tape as well, he's an absolute uh, no-brainer pick at 12 if he's available there. And I think he could come in. As you mentioned, it's not a problem until it's a problem. You might look at the team right now and say, well, they've got Dean Lowry, they've got Mike Daniels, they've got Kenny Clark, they've got Montrevious Adams, and all of these younger players that are kind of up and coming. Well, it passed this year, Kenny Clark and uh, Montrevious Adams are the only two that are still under contract. So, like you said, not a problem until it's a problem. This is certainly somewhere where they could address this, either with a Christian Wilkins or an Ed Oliver. Kind of hope that you could maybe get Mike Daniels back, but now you have some leverage in contract negotiations with that as well.